All right, okay. Hello, everybody. Hi, this is me, Darius Nchauskas, and this is the Daily Picture International Breaking News section. So, uh, look, in this section, we're going to talk. I'm going to talk about uh, upcoming today's upcoming Canadian inflation numbers. So we'll dig into all that. But um, hey, before we go any further, as always, we need to have a quick read through our risk disclaimer. So yes, the content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendations and should not be considered as such. This material should not be taken as an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. Look, I'll just give you a few seconds to read the rest. Um, just going to do my few few things here and there. Not going to disappear anywhere. Um, so yes, uh, today we get, we're having the uh, inflation numbers from Canada. Uh, oh, but before we jump into all that, let's quickly have a re uh, look at our uh, website here very quickly. So basically, that's the, the one that you can check out uh, to find more information about us. So yes, feel free, easymarkets.com. So check us out. Uh, hopefully, you'll, in, you'll find useful information there. Now, let's jump into uh, the economic calendar and specifically into today's Canada's numbers. So what I wanted to pick up on, basically, we have an interesting situation. Uh, we have the headline inflation number, which is expected to come out a little bit lower uh, at 1.8 percent so basically fall uh so we've already reached the bank of canada's inflation target at two percent so we're now falling below that so uh of course some there are some analysts who are shouting about like oh you know the fear of deflation and everything like that um i don't know we'll see how that's going to play out but uh, it's quite interesting to see that uh, the core inflation actually is even lower than the uh, lower than the the headline inflation, and the headline inflation does include oil, uh, energy, and food prices, which uh, we know that the energy prices have been on the lower side. And uh, hey, that's one of the the kind of the drivers for uh, lower headline inflation. But the core inflation on, in Canada is even lower, and this is where the interesting bit comes in because. Um, comparing it to the U.S., for example, where where the headline inflation was lower, but the core was actually higher because the uh, service sector still is quite expensive. Uh, in Canada, that's the the opposite in a way, and this is where the interesting bit, like I said, is coming in. That um, we are expecting these lower numbers uh, right now. Canadian dollar is wow. It's I mean, looking look at this USD CAD. Um, I talked about this re recently, and I picked up on this in my um, in my morning webinars, which you can always check out six o'clock GMT time. You can check out the recordings of those uh, live sessions as well, so you can jump in every day if you want uh, on our YouTube channel. But um, oh, Twitch, by the way, subscribe. Please do, honestly, please do subscribe. It will help us a lot and it will help me a lot as well. But um, yeah, coming back to the situation here with the with the inflation here, um, look, uh, we're seeing this weakness and I think that the market is expecting a lower number here to come out. Um, inflation is on the lower side, yes. I mean, this is kind of, this, this is what it was helping the Bank of Canada to continue uh, lowering those rates, and again, this whole combo is spilling into a weaker Canadian dollar, and we can see that clearly. This is like just unstoppable; is just moving nicely to the upside. Look, uh, in my morning video, I also talked about this, and I said, "Hey, uh, if this gets cleared, if this downside line gets cleared, which is drawn from the highest point of October of 2023, uh, or sorry, November of 2023." Uh, if this downside line gets clear, then yes, I'm going to go further north. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. I think this is working out nicely. And in general, I, I said it before, uh, I'll, I'll repeat myself that the this pair, this specific pair does like these um, nice, um, nice, beautiful numbers like 138, 139, 136, 135. So you saw 137. And this is where it's finding a lot of support and resistance. Now, uh, look, we cleared the 1.38 in general following this logic. My next target is the 1.39 zone. And to be honest, it is a good area of resistance right here. So, hey, uh, let's see if uh, if we can reach this one. And for now, I th I'm going to stick to that as long as we aim for the 1.38 zone. Now, um, I will shift my uh, views. Uh, if, for example, inflation today comes out on the higher side, let's say the headline inflation 
year comes out not at 1.8 as expected it comes out at 2% again now this is where the interesting bit could come in because look the the BOC the Bank of Canada is on this kind of uh, cutting mode in this cutting mode right now so they they dropped recently they dropped the rate to uh, 4. Uh, 4.25 I'm not mistaken yep so now the next uh, meeting is coming up on the 23rd of October so um, at the moment there is no expectation that they're gonna be cutting or or doing something but um, I mean, the, okay. The expectation is that they they might they might stay keep it uh, as it is, and to be honest, uh, I think that uh, they are now they want to take a step back, in my opinion, because if inflation continues to slide with the current interest rates, then why? What's the point of you know of uh, um, of of cutting further? Because it's it's okay. We're doing good. You know, it's 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 all fine. Uh, let's not overdo it let's say then the, there is a fear that uh, you will devalue your uh canadian dollar which is has been already devalued not only because of the stronger us dollar here no but also because of oil which um which continues to slide by the way and if you haven't looked at oil today i mean this is just spectacular so it's drifting lower and like i said this is kind of putting that weakness a little bit on the uh on the canadian dollar as well so lower rates, uh, lower inflation and falling oil, it's not a very good cocktail for the Canadian dollar. However, um, if inflation, let's say, comes back up a little bit, let's say it doesn't fall to 1.8 as expected, it uh, comes out at 2 somewhere, maybe that's, that would give some brief, breathing air uh, for the for the bulls for the canadian dollar bulls and we could see maybe us dollar cat usd cat here reversing to the downside again just uh for a little bit of a correction not saying that it suddenly will become strong or anything no but this could uh this could give a bit of strength here for the canadian dollar however again if uh if can if inflation continues to slide and we see for example core falling then yeah this is this is this might not look good for uh, for the market. However, there's another. Uh, in, this is me trying to confuse you. But there's another thought in there uh, that if let's say inflation uh, will uh, continue to slide rapidly, this is where the bank would have to actually consider hiking again and this is where you know the mar it depends how the market will take that maybe the market will say oh you know what there the, it will force the bank to uh, the central bank of canada to uh, to hike the rates again and this way they could strengthen the canadian dollar and basically trying to be ahead of the curve a little bit you know ahead of one step uh, ahead of everything and uh, this I mean I'm talking about the market so it's trying to be a, a one step ahead of everything so that's what I'm saying so there is a little bit of confusion but I think at the moment just uh, go purely with uh, with the numbers and just purely with the logic that if inflation starts if inflation let's say continues to slide then yes that could be a bit of a weaker moment here for Canadian dollar uh, um, and then, yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. If inflation stabilizes and it, let's say, it remain, it comes out the same as uh, previous year at two percent, uh, then uh, that, like I said, that could maybe strengthen the Canadian dollar a little bit, not much, but a little bit for the time being. So, uh, look. That was just a quick take. This was just a quick take on the uh, Canadian numbers today. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, keep an eye on our section here, uh, Daily Picture International Breaking, uh, where we cover the separate uh, economic events. So there will be more coming up this week. So yes, hey, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy, you will enjoy those as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Um, and yeah, I will see you later. So th thank you very much, everybody, for watching and listening. Stay safe. Have your stop losses in place. Risk only what you can afford to lose. Don't overtrade and everything will be fine. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.